The short answer is because I'm not two years old. The long answer is because, well, watch the rest of the video to find out. Bluey is a show meant for little kids that has taken over the world by storm ever since it first premiered in 2018. The show follows a family of dogs, and that is literally the only thing that I know about it because I've never seen the show, because I don't intend to watch this show, because of reasons that will become more apparent as the video goes on. Now, even though this show is meant to be for little kids, is. This is a preschool show. There are a large amount of adult fans of Bluey. A lot of people praise this show for being much smarter than a lot of other preschool shows, as well as just being a wholesome, charming show with great messages in general. I cannot verify any of this personally because I've never seen a single episode of the show and I don't intend to. I'm just going off of what other people have said about the show. Some people have even said that, like, they cried watching Bluey. Like, there was an episode that came out recently, The Sign. I could not tell you what the hell this episode's about, but apparently it's really emotional. Apparently people cried watching this. Grown adult men cried watching this episode of a show meant for three-year-olds. And you know, to be honest, I don't really have much of a problem with that if it weren't for a certain other thing. I have a problem with Bluey's mostly adult fandom, and it's not for the obvious reason. They're like, oh, why, why do adults like a show meant for two-year-olds. That, that's not the reason. This isn't like with the bronies or the Sonic fans of yesterday where it's like, oh, there's a lot of gross, disgusting people within this fan base because, yes, I'm sure there are gross, disgusting people within the Bluey fandom for sure, but I have another problem with Bluey's fandom. I have another problem with, like, the whole thing of, like, adults watching Bluey. And now I have to say that I have no problems with Bluey itself. I'm sure Bluey is this amazing, whole some adorable show with great messages and whatever, but it is a show that I can never get into. It is a show that, like, I just think about it and it makes me sad. Not because, like, oh, the episodes make me cry or whatever, but because of, like, other things. Let me just give you one simple word. Brain rot. Now, over the last year or so, I'd say maybe it was 2022 when it started, there's been this epidemic going around on social media, particularly on YouTube. Now, what brain rot is, it's it's mostly low effort content made for no other reason other than to get money from kids that will watch these videos. They put in stuff that kids like, and it's like it's the most stupid brain dead stuff, hence why it's called brain rot. A lot of it has like no substance to it at all. No, like, artistic value, nothing like that. No messages, it's just stupid bullcrap, you know? Stuff like Skibbity Toilet, Lanky Box, Sniper Wolf, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that has, like, zero substance. Stuff that kids should not be watching, and yet they're watching it anyways. And sometimes, not only could these videos be idiotic, they could also be genuinely harmful for kids. For one thing, a lot of these videos, it's not even just YouTube videos, but it's also YouTube shorts and TikToks, a lot of them have this thing where it's like, they just put a bunch of different crap on screen and that's supposed to like, affect the attention span of the kids that watch these videos. They could have like, the top portion be for like, the main subject of the short and then the bottom could be like, a clip from Family Guy or GTA 5 footage or something like that, Subway Surfers footage, you know, something like that, some like, oddly satisfying video, you know, that sort of thing. Sometimes the subject in question could be like a Family Guy clip, you know, YouTube is full of these like Family Guy funny moments videos and whatever. And so sometimes these shorts, I guess not only for the attention span stuff, but also for copyright reasons, I'm not sure, they could have like a clip of Family Guy play on the top and then the bottom is like Subway Surfers footage. And it's like you're trying to focus on both of them at the same time and you end up being heavily distracted and that screws up your attention span. But there's also the fact as well that sometimes these videos can have genuinely harmful content in them as well, and now I'm sure most of you remember the whole Elsa Gate stuff from like 2016, 2017. For those lucky people who have no idea what the hell Elsa Gate is, let me explain. So back around the mid to late 2010s, there was this disturbing trend going around on YouTube where people were making these like 
these fucked up videos that have like Elsa and Spider-Man in them, and it's like these videos were supposed to be for kids, but they contained a lot of dark, disturbing subject matter in them that are not kid-friendly at all. A lot of like inappropriate imagery that could negatively affect kids in the future. In recent times, Elsa Gate has made a bit of a comeback, or maybe it never even left to begin with. Maybe it was always still there, but it was just, you know, it, it died down a little bit, but it was still always there, I'm not sure. But it's back now. And somehow, it is even worse now than it was back in, like, 2017. Instead of Elsa and Spider-Man, now you have stuff like Poppy Playtime or The Amazing Digital Circus, because that's what kids are into nowadays. On a side note, The Amazing Digital Circus is another show that I refuse to watch because of the Elsa Gate brain rot crap that it has. I, I know that it's not the creator's fault that that stuff exists, but still, I, I cannot look at this character without thinking of, like, lanky box poppy playtime roblox bullcrap i'm sorry the big three of indie animation everyone the only three indie cartoons that people actually talk about a show that's complete garbage a show that's mediocre and a show that's probably good but i refuse to watch it because of the elsa gate stuff it has unintentionally brought to this world yeah, I I'm starting to doubt that indie animation is really all that better than corporate animation. Remind me again why people hate Velma, please? Another trait of these videos, particularly from Lanky Box, is that they're very fast-paced, they're loud, they're bright and whatever. They're full of saturated colors, and they're just so extremely fast-paced, which, again, could negatively affect a kid's attention span. And so what turns me away from ever watching Bluey is this crap. Because I just think about the mostly adult fan base that Bluey has, and then I correlate that with the fact that a lot of kids nowadays are watching Brain Rot. I just get depressed and disturbed by the idea that, like, you have grown men in their 20s and 30s that are watching a show meant for 3-year-olds, and then meanwhile, actual 3-year-olds, they're not watching this show that supposedly has amazing lessons and whatever that they need to learn. No, they're watching stupid low effort crap instead. I don't know how no one else has made a connection between these two before, but that doesn't matter now because I've made that connection and I'm making that connection public to y'all. That's all that matters. It's just a disgusting idea to me that, like, grown men are crying at this show for three-year-olds, you know? I wouldn't even be against that, okay? I wouldn't be against that at all. The problem is not that grown men are watching a show made for babies. The problem is that grown men are watching a show made for babies, while actual babies are watching stuff like Sniper Wolf instead. Context matters, okay? Whatever great, important, wholesome messages Bluey has, Gen Alpha is not learning them, they're instead learning new stupid catchphrases and whatever. Ohio Skibbity Riz, Mewing Sigma, stuff like that. A lot of these kids most likely have neglectful parents as well. Parents that just don't care enough to raise their kids right, and so they just, they have them watch low effort stuff instead. They just sit their kids in front of an iPad and have them watch Skibbity Toilet. They let Skibbity Toilet parent their own kids. Now obviously this is a bit of an overreaction. Obviously, you know, there are kids that are part of Generation Alpha that watch Bluey. But a large majority of kids are not watching Bluey. And this matters because you gotta remember, this is the next generation. A future United States president is watching Skibbity Toilet right now as a kid, okay? Think about that. Someone that's currently watching that chicken nugget that sings Cotton Eye Joe could grow up to become a future president of the United States of America, okay? You know, just think about that. Think about that. I used to not care a lot about, like, morals and messages and whatever in media. I, I never cared about that at all. But now I realize, damn, you know what? This kind of- this stuff is actually kind of important. You know what? Maybe all of those- in like 2012 Mr. Enter videos where you would complain about how Dark Age Spongebob had bad morals in them. You know, maybe maybe they had a point all along. I just didn't see it at the time, but now I do. Now I understand the big deal. There's just something very depressing to me. The idea that like there's a man in like his late 20s, early 30s that's just absolutely obsessed with Bluey. He watches the show 24-7. He buys all of the merchandise he comes 
across, DVDs of the show, toys, you know, stuff like that. He just obsesses over Bluey. He devotes his entire personality to this show that's meant to be for four-year-olds. And then meanwhile, there's an actual four-year-old kid out there that should be watching Bluey, that should be learning all of the important stuff that, like, Bluey supposedly has, and they're not learning it at all because they're busy watching Skibbity Toilet. I'm not saying that parents should just neglect their kids and have them just sit in front of a TV and watch Bluey 24-7, because that's the same thing as just leaving them unattended watching Skibbity Toilet 24-7. Yes, the content is good, the content is significantly better for a kid to watch, but it's just it's still the same thing where like, you know, you need to be a good parent for kids because these kids, they are our future generation. It's kind of like, it's not even just Bluey. I just get like disturbed the idea that like adult fans of shows made for like very little kids, you know? Blue's Clues, Thomas the Tank Engine, you know? The fact that the f***ing Thomas the Tank Engine of all things has this like mostly adult fan base creeps me out. I'm sorry. That's weird to me. I don't know what else to tell y'all. It's one thing to have have nostalgia for the show that's perfectly fine but it's a completely different thing to still be obsessed with this show as a 20 year old man if you were a dad or you had a younger sibling or something like that and you were watching the show with them then that would be fine you know being nostalgic for blues clues is fine watching blues clues with either your kid or your younger sibling that's fine you're reliving old childhood memories while creating new memories watching the show with your son or your younger brother or whatever but being like a childless adult male watching blues clues all alone by yourself that's just that's weird to me i'm sorry actively obsessing over it instead of just having it be like oh this was a thing i really liked when i was a kid I have a lot of strong nostalgic memories for it. That's weird to me, I'm sorry. It's not just with Bluey, it's with a bunch of other stuff. I brought this up before in another video, but I think, like, they cancelled Thomas or something like the original show, and they replaced it with, like, this new 2D version, and a lot of Thomas fans hate this show for some reason. And it's like, it's f***ing Thomas the Tank Engine, it's, it's not that serious. I'm willing to bet that this show isn't bad, people hate it because it's not what I grew up with, therefore it's bad. The, the thing that I grew up with is good, and the thing that I didn't grow up with is bad, even if it's the same damn thing. And then meanwhile, while grown men are complaining about how they ruined Thomas the Tank Engine, the actual target audience for Thomas the Tank Engine is watching this instead. <laughs> The general point I'm trying to make is, I refuse to ever watch Bluey because I don't want to be part of the problem. If I was still a little kid, yeah, I would watch Bluey. If I was a parent or something, I, if I was a dad or whatever, then yeah, I would let my kids watch Bluey easily. I have a younger sister, but she's too old to be watching Bluey, so that's out of the question, unfortunately. I just don't feel comfortable with the idea of, like, adults making a big deal about this show, just watching it all along without any sort of kids without any sort of like you know gen alpha kids watching it and then like actual gen alpha is watching the most garbage content you could possibly think of if brain rot didn't exist i wouldn't have a problem with adults watching bluey okay i wouldn't have a problem with them watching it at all okay i promise y'all that y'all could be allowed to cry about the sign and whatever as much as you want and i would not judge you i would think it's a little bit weird but ultimately i would not judge you the fact that we are going through a brain rot epidemic with gen alpha though makes this a whole thing a problem i do have a problem with the mostly adult fan base that bluey has because of this i'm sorry and again this has nothing to do with bluey itself bluey as a show i'm sure is amazing but like it's just the fact that adults are watching this show while the actual target audience is watching complete garbage it just it turns me away from ever watching this show i don't want to become part of the problem i don't want to watch this show made for three-year-olds while actual three-year-olds are watching low 
effort brain rot. I just don't feel comfortable with that. I understand that brain rot is not necessarily a new recent thing and that it's actually much older than we actually think it is. There are a lot of things from the late 2000s and early 2010s era internet that we grew up with when we were kids that could retrospectively be considered brain rot, but it was nowhere near as bad as it is now in 2024. The difference between Gen Z brain rot and Gen Alpha brain rot is that yes, we did watch brain rot when we were kids. Us Gen Z people, we watched brain rot, but we also watched normal cartoons and normal animated movies like normal kids should. We were the last generation that actually grow up watching cartoons. Adventure Time, Phineas and Ferb, stuff like that. Yeah, we watched a lot of dumb crap on the internet in the early 2010s that could retrospectively be considered brain rot, but we also watched the newest Pixar movie whenever it would come out in theaters. We also watched the newest episode of The Amazing World of Gumball whenever it would first air on Cartoon Network. We didn't just exclusively watch YouTube brain rot 24-7 like Gen Alpha is doing, and that is what makes Gen Z brain rot slightly less bad than Gen Alpha brain rot. This is also what makes bronies different from Bluey fans, because it's the same principle where it's like, these are both shows intended for a very young demographic, and yet they have fan bases that largely consist of teenagers and adults. And again, what makes bronies different is that, yes, there were adults watching My Little Pony in the early 2010s, while we kids were watching stupid brain rot crap, like Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life, but like, again, we grew up with normal stuff as well. Adults were watching My Little Pony while kids were watching regular show. Everyone wins. There are no losers in the situation. Whereas with this, you have adults watching Bluey and kids are watching Skibbity Toilet. Like, that's wrong, I'm sorry. I mentioned this in an earlier video, but I feel like the whole animation is not a genre for kids stuff feels extremely redundant in this day and age because kids don't even watch animation nowadays. Skibbity Toilet is the only sort of animation that kids watch in this day and age. You think kids nowadays like Disney? You think kids care about Disney these days? Hell no, they don't. There is not a single kid that's part of Generation Alpha Alpha that cares about Disney. There is not a single kid that's part of Generation Alpha that's begging mommy and daddy to take them to the theaters to see the newest Disney movie. Then again, the quality of most recent Disney movies isn't exactly helping out that case. Combine that with the very real possibility that a lot of these Gen Alpha kids have anti-woke parents that think Disney is bad because girl doesn't like old movie or whatever, and you just have a recipe for disaster. There are probably Probably tons of kids that are watching Inside Out 2 Brain Rot that haven't even seen the actual f***ing movie itself because their parents won't let them watch it, because Disney is woke, because girl doesn't like old movie. I'm just, I'm so confused, man. How, how did we get this far, you know? How, how did it get so f***ing bad so quickly? We're so f man it's it's so over seriously i genuinely have no hope for the future to wrap things up bluey is a show that i'm sure is absolutely amazing i'm sure this deserves its title it's like one of the best preschool cartoons ever made you know if if any of y'all watching this are a parent if, if you're watching like if you have like a younger sibling and you watch a bluey with them that's perfectly fine i have nothing against that at all but i just don't feel comfortable when it's like a childless adult Old man that's watching Bluey, knowing that like actual children are watching just complete garbage nowadays. And I don't want to be part of the problem. I, I really don't. Unless I become a dad, I don't ever intend to watch Bluey. I'm sorry. This is not an I hate Bluey video. This isn't even an I hate Bluey's fan base video. This is an I don't feel comfortable with the mostly adult fan base that Bluey has because the actual target audience for Bluey is growing up watching Brain Rot instead video. There's a big difference. Anyways, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to like, and if you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you everyone for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Adios.